Do you know what mall is this? No. What square one you're talking about in Mississauga? Ah, you went there already when you were still small. Oh, yeah? Okay. Five, Five years old? Okay, you're going six right now? Mm -hmm. When? October 28th. October 28th. Oh, okay. So, Hudson Bay area. Mall. I don't know what's the street. But we pass by Adelaide Avenue. We're waiting for the the uh, doctor to attend the, our grandson, Bryson, at the other side of the street. So, uh, we stay here at around one maybe one hour or two then we'll be meeting with the driver at four o'clock it's around three o'clock in the way Canada is very tremendous. I did not expect that I can experience uh, staying here at least six months. And uh, we already stayed here for two months. Another, yeah, another more or less three months. Yeah, yeah, three months more. So it's nice. Uh, our experience. Well, uh, while I'm almost free, nothing to do here, I might as well do the vlogging. Uh, our topic today is uh, smoking. I've been a smoker myself uh, more than 20 years, I think. 15 years old, 25, 25, 9, almost 20 years since 1973-74 like that I stopped smoking 1991 uh, uh, what I am concerned about is uh, number one is the effect of smoking it's really a poisonous one the smoke is very dangerous and it can really destroy your blood vessels not only that the whole body it might uh, go to your brain, heart, blood vessels, kidneys, and everything. See, this is Viola, my granddaughter. And she is five years old, going six. Um, so you're going grade one? Yeah. yeah. When? I don't know. Next school year. So maybe the smoker's cup is very important. When someone smokes like me, every day you will observe that you have that secretions here, deep in your throat. When you wake up in early in the morning, you try to cleanse your throat by squeezing or something like mm, producing that secretions here inside. Or early in the morning, you try to cough. When there is coughing, there is a mucus secretion there. That the sign that you are this the sign the sign that you are having that smoker's cough that secretions for me for almost 30 years i ha have not experienced that uh, secretion inside my throat how to elicit that or do that when you wake up in the early in the morning you gargle water and uh, just let the water go down a little and then you gargle like that uh, and then observe and squeeze it tight and observe your sink if it's white it's okay so that you can observe that there is a blackish uh, secretions there in our native language Bisaya, Lua, Ilunggu, Badlo, Miyukus in English if there's a 
a brown or black color, that's uh, the sign that you have still the bronchitis. Bronchitis meaning infections of your blood or your bronchus. So there's irritation in your bronchus and that's the sign that you, that you are still smoking. That should go away. So you have a clear throat in the morning. Mama Ace is there buying clothes. So, secretions is a bad sign and just wonder why uh, people still smoke and then uh, excreting out or spitting in that uh, throat there. It's, it's there lodged in your tonsillar crypts. Is it okay? So it's a... Uh, medium for infection uh, for those people who are uh, bedridden so it's very difficult that's, that's the site where the bacteria and the pathogens or the harmful bacteria uh, lodge in so that it can, it can produce severe infection so try this if you are not still smoking you just try to squeeze that once in a while and there's a white little plug there very white like uh, uh, rice grain that comes out there it's being lodged there uh, at your in your tonsillar crypts inside so that's foul smelling so better squeeze your throat regularly and you will be free of that kind of uh, uh, that uh, dirty thing there is a product of your daily intake of food and it's gradually form there as a, a little bit of foul smelling sediments so that's what I can help today <laughs> um, June 21 2023 God bless miss you all uh, my uh, son-in-law the husband of my niece told me to talk in English so that we can understand each other not Tagalog this one cannot talk Tagalog do you know how Tagalog do you know how to, to speak Tagalog? <laughs> what can you say about your trip here? We took the bus. What what can you say? Um, I liked it in the bus because it was fun riding it. <laughs> it's fun riding it. <laughs> slang too. A poco slang. <laughs> Enjoy the lagging mga apo eh. Salamat sa panonood. Ha? I hope we understand each other. Ganda din ng Canada eh. Matahimik, the most livable place on earth. Surely discipline. What you know what's the meaning of Canada for me? It may be it, it may change in uh, due time but Canada is uh, citizens and nationals are di disciplined uh, Astute, yeah, disciplined people and very astute. Okay, let's elaborate that later. Thank you, God bless. <laughs>